Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous fall day in the flood ravaged wasteland of South Austin, Texas. We are now at Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013, and good God, guys, uh, last night I did a brief little rundown of the mainstream media headlines at six o'clock last night which i think 11 people on planet earth i have tuned into and today you know i could have 20 rants i am somehow limiting it to four different rants and let's start off with some good news that i mentioned to the 11 people who listened to it last night uh associated press all of these stories are right here from Yahoo News on the mainstream media, by the way. Associated Press, Uruguay official, legal pot for $1 per gram. Okay, Uruguay's drug czar says the country plans to sell legal marijuana for $1 per gram to combat drug trafficking. There you go. How about that? A hand for the Uruguayan drug czar. Uh, I'm hoping our own drug czar in this country is maybe getting some ideas. Okay. The plan to create a government-run legal marijuana industry has passed the lower house of Congress and President Jose Mujica expects to push it through the Senate soon as part of his effort to explore alternatives in the war on drugs. So here you go. Uh, here is the President, the Congress, and the Senate working together to come up with some absolutely no-brainer legislation. Uh, there you go. There, there is so much that Washington, D.C. can learn from Uruguay. All right. The measure would make Uruguay the first country in the world to license and enforce rules for the production, distribution, and sale of marijuana for adult consumers. So I guess they should start selling weed uh, in about a year at a dollar per gram, which is one eighth or less of what marijuana costs at legal uh, medical dispensaries in some U.S. states. Um, so there you go. Uh, Speaking, this is the drug czar of Uruguay. Uh, this Uruguay quote is going to offer a safe place to buy a quality product, and on top of that, it's going to sell at the same price. Now, some bad news for gringos sales would be restricted to locals who would be able to buy up to 40 grams per month. I believe there's 28 grams uh, in an ounce, so the, this government-sponsored weed is $28 an ounce. Uh, there you go. Uh, for anyone looking for a no-brainer alternative to the absolutely lost war on drugs, we need to applaud and celebrate Uruguay. Oh, there is light at the end of the tunnel, guys. So uh, I'm going to wrap this little rant up here. I'll put the link on the story if you want to read more about the most intelligent marijuana policy I have ever encountered in my life. And I got three more rants on this beautiful day coming right back at you. Bye, guys.